Hi, it's Bengi from Mini Course Generator. It's been some time since I first showed you our AI course creator, but now it's evolved into a much finer and functional version, so it's time to film a new video. If you're ready, together we'll create a mini course from point zero by using Mini Course Generator's AI course creator. Mini Course Generator's AI Assistant is the only AI tool in the market for creating full, comprehensive and ready to share mini courses. The nearest alternatives can produce only drafts or outlines, but with Mini Course Generator, you can really, really save time. As you see, there is a guided flow on our simple interfaces. You guide and control our AI Assistant on a guided flow in every step possible, and you'll get a full mini course with AI images if you'd like. The mini course you get will be fully editable and will become unique with your touches as the creator. As you see, we have a few steps and the first one is selecting how you're planning to share this mini course, how you'll distribute this mini course. I think I will choose sharing by link. And now let's describe the mini course idea in more detail. I think I'll choose a funny subject for this video. Let's say I'm a professional wizard and I'd like to target my audience, uh, my leads with an introductory mini course. The course description can be something like uh, the importance of sensible magic, something like this. And I'll get title suggestions based on this. These are the five title suggestions by our AI assistant. I can choose one. Uh, I can generate more suggestions uh, or I can also edit existing ones or write a new one completely from point zero myself, I think third one is good. So based on this, you'll get the outline suggestion. Uh, you see the headers and subheaders under them. Uh, each of these subheaders will correspond to a content card in my mini course. And the outline is also editable, like the title suggestions. Uh, for example, I can add a section like uh, my background as a wizard of 10 years. If you'd like to connect more with your audience, uh, you can add a personal section like that. You can edit existing headers, delete the ones you do not like, and you can also generate a new outline discarding this draft completely. I think I will reposition this final subheader. And if you're satisfied with your outline, you can move to the next step where you select the appearance of your mini course, the themes. We have lots of other presets, by the way, if you'd like to change later. And the next step is choosing the gateway. Now the gateway selection is totally up to you. It depends on your use case. I will use this mini course for lead nurturing and I'll share it with an exclusive group. So in order to make people feel this exclusivity, um, in order to make them feel privileged, I'd like to use a password wall. But if you'd like to collect emails, if you'd like to get paid, you can simply choose another gateway. Now this is new. We now have an AI image generator on mini course generator. Uh, it's added on our AI course creator as the last step. If you keep this option on, you can save a lot of time, but you can also turn it off. Uh, let's choose styling for these images and keep going. And my mini course is ready. Let's see. Yes, this is how my mini course looks on the admin view. As you see, we have a card structure. We have different types of content cards and they form a mini course together. You see AI images are added to the card, information cards, but you can also add AI images to every card individually. Uh, simply select uh, create with AI and type in your prompt. You can get the prompt from the card content as well. So let's do this and generate the image. This is fine, let's use this. Besides, if you're not really satisfied with the image on your content cards, you can simply delete and uh, select another image. Yes, so while editing your mini course, you can continue getting help from our AI assistant on your information cards. We have several functions for that. Uh, for example, if you'd like to have shorter text inside your cards, on this card, for example, you can simply click the three plus icon at the bottom of the card and you'll see the functions. We can choose summarize and see the suggestions by AI. As you see, we have three suggestions. If you like something, you can simply click use text and the text will be replaced. Yes, 
it's much shorter now as you can see besides that uh, you can not only edit or delete existing cards you can add new ones for example interactivity is very important so let's add some question cards to this mini course i think first i will add a quiz card these are the content cards as you see multiple correct answer let's say now let's prepare this card based on the previous card this is good i added a gif to the header this time instead of an ai generated image now let's move on further in this mini course and create some more quiz cards yes another one i will select the correct answer let's have a third one now as you see i can add cards in between yes this is the last one so uh, you can also add survey type questions so before completing this mini course let's add a star rating to get feedback from our audience let's add a gif again i'll choose a funny one like this now at the end of this mini course i will add a special completion i will add a conditional completion card to display personalized messages to my audience based on quiz score remember we had three quiz questions in this mini course so let's define some conditions based on this for example if they have answered all of the questions correctly they can reach my one-on-one -on -one session calendar i will embed this calendar inside this mini course by the way you can embed anything inside your content cards if they have an iframe html code you can embed videos from youtube or another source you can embed um, podcast episodes or playlists from spotify anything if they have an html code you can embed things inside your content cards like this calendar so let's create this condition and we need to add another condition for this to work and if they have not answered all of the questions correctly i can send them to my exclusive workshop and you can hyperlink uh, the link here i will choose another link just to demonstrate you can make it look like a cta button and let's create this condition so my mini course is ready let's view from the end user point of view by clicking the view button over here yes uh, this is the cover card you can turn it off from your settings if you do not want a cover card and here is my gateway as you can see i cannot proceed without entering the password first and these are the content cards with images here is an example quiz card So I'm uh, ready to distribute this lead nurturing material. Let's get the share link from the share button here. I can also reach the embed codes from the same place. You can embed your mini courses on any web page. Uh, and especially if you're on WordPress, it's even easier with our WordPress plugin. So this is the share link of my mini course. I'm ready for action. I hope you like the new version of our AI course creator. Please let me know what you think and meet me in the next video. Bye.